All right, welcome back to Cakeology. You know what this is, B.O.B., none but the best of the best. This is the science of success. So if you guys are interested in money, business, and credit, you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna talk about how many net 30 vendor accounts do you actually need to get scores and to get credit. All right, let's get it, baby. All right, all right. Thank you guys for coming to the channel about money, business, and credit, MBC. If you guys are interested in, in, in videos two to three times a week, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and the bell notification, okay? So today I wanna talk about net 30 vendor accounts and exactly how many net 30 vendor accounts do you actually need? Okay, and, and how many do you need to accomplish what stages of building business credit? Okay, now if you guys are just starting out building business credit, you guys know net 30 vendor accounts are a major, major tier one stepping stone in order for you guys to get accounts that actually report to your business credit reports and therefore generate those business credit scores okay that's what we're after especially with the beginning accounts now if you guys want the hottest reporting trade lines in the game that report fast for a new business just starting out maybe no credit yet need to get something on the books check them out they're in the link in the description below two of the hottest fastest reporting net 30 vendor accounts in the game okay first and foremost as you guys very well know you have to have a company right so in order for us to start building business credit we have to have formally set up our company in the state that we're doing business in okay now a great place to get that done is ink file that link is also in the link in, in the description below they'll set up your company for free all you do is just pay the state registration fee they'll give you a free registered agent service for free for one year everything is online everything's super easy to use okay so those links are in the description below to help you guys out okay so once you've set up your business then we're good to go okay you have to have your business have to have your EIN your employer identification number that's free to get from the IRS okay once we have those basics including that website professional email and that um, phone number, that professional phone number with a greeting, we're ready to start getting net 30 vendor accounts, okay? Now, when it comes to net 30 vendor accounts, not all are created equal, okay? Not all net 30 vendor accounts report to all three of the major credit bureaus. That's something very, very important to understand. There's three major credit bureaus. One is Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, in Equifax, okay? You also have those other underlying credit bureaus like Credit Safe and the SBFE, okay? We'll talk about that in other videos, all right? But the ones that you really are gonna wanna monitor, the big three that you can really see what's going on on them, um, if you have a, a NAV account, for example. So if you're in business, I always suggest get that NAV account. I'm not affiliated, um, but you know, it's a good way to kind of keep track of your business credit scores and reports, okay? So you can see all three when you log into your NAV portal, okay? Now, NAV does not uh, report the scores. The scores still come from the bureaus. NAV is a data aggregator, meaning they're pulling that data through an API from these other uh, credit bureaus, and they're compiling that data in a way that they're able to sell it. Maybe it's a little bit easier to understand, a little bit prettier on the screen, and for us consumers to be able to purchase it, okay? So the scores are not NAV scores. The scores are still from the credit bureaus. They're just on the platform that NAV has set up, okay? So how many net 30 vendor accounts do we need to accomplish what now? Okay, let's get to it, okay? First and foremost, for Dun & Bradstreet, okay? A lot of people call me, you know, and I've got a free 15 minute consultation for you guys. You wanna join my VIP, please do schedule that link in the description. They call me and they say, hey, listen, I'm not, I don't have a Dun score. I don't have a Paydex score, okay? That's the proprietary name of the Dun & Bradstreet business credit score. It's called pay decks okay so how do you get a paydex score well 
you have to have a minimum of three, ladies and gentlemen, net 30 vendor accounts or three accounts, three trade lines reporting to Dun & Bradstreet. Okay. Now, like I said, not all net 30 vendor accounts are created equal. They all do not report to all three bureaus. Okay. It's much different than personal credit. Okay. Personal credit, nine times out of 10, all banks, all of the credit card people, all of, uh, you know, who, who lines of credit or personal, uh, accounts that you guys get, they're going to report to all three of the, of the personal credit bureaus, but that's not the situation when it comes with business credit. Okay. Not all net 30 vendor accounts, not all banks, not all credit card companies report to all three of the major bureaus. So that's why it's important for us to know what net 30s report to what, so we can have that presence on all three bureaus. Okay. So to get a paydex score with Dun and Bradstreet, you need a minimum of three trade lines reporting to Dun and Bradstreet. Okay. So there's three that you need right there. All right. Now for Experian and Equifax, I always say to have two reporting to each as a minimum. Okay. So two reporting to Experian and two reporting to Equifax. Okay. So a good rule of thumb starting out, you should have seven trade lines reporting on your business credit reports cumulatively. Okay. All together, meaning between all three bureaus. Now, once again, three on Dun and Bradstreet to get that paydex score. I recommend two on Experian to get you a nice little score going and two on Equifax to get a good score going. Okay. Now remember to the hottest reporting net 30 vendor accounts that report in the link in the description below for your new company, medium company, old company, young company, thin company, tall company, uh, whatever company. Okay. So we got them for you. All right. That's a good rule of thumb to go by, ladies and gentlemen, to have at least seven trade lines. So you have a presence on all three of the major business credit bureaus. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Now, don't forget subscribe, like comment. I return all the comments. If you do want a free 15 minute call with me to talk about what's going on with you and your company and how you can join the VIP then that link is in the description below as well. Don't forget, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, two to three videos. We're going to talk about building businesses, flipping businesses. Uh, we're going to be talking about the, the uh, section, um, the, the uh, section 179s, all of that. Okay. Cars, everything. All right. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace and love, baby.